Let's discuss about the purpose of sensory education in the next few slides. The direct aims of the sensorial activities are to refine the child's senses so that he can differentiate even the slightest differences in order to truly observe and appreciate the world around him. The indirect goals are the mastery of the manipulation of the apparatus and of the terminology involved. Each exercise specifically isolates one sense at a time to maximize its refinement. Defining Maria Montessori's nine senses, Maria Montessori further breaks down the five basic senses into nine isolated senses, each addressed in her sensorial curriculum. It is traditionally taught that human being experiences his world through five senses as visual or seeing, auditory or hearing, olfactory or smelling, tactile or touch and gustatory or taste. Maria Montessori expanded these five senses to include chromatic or color, baric or weight, thermic or temperature and stereognostic or tactile muscular. She believed that education of the senses is the basis of intellectual development. Didactic materials were developed to exercise children's senses. They develop a child's ability to differentiate qualities of color, form, size, texture, temperature, and weight. The didactic materials are characterized as self-correcting in that they only allow one correct response. The self-correcting component assures children's inner development is being appropriately directed and allows children to work at their own pace. The didactic materials represent the primary means by which the environment is prepared, individualized, for each child.